Hey everyone, it's Mark Wins here in Bangkok, Thailand. I mentioned a while back that I will be uh, filming a Thai TV documentary, uh, kind of like a series. And so we did one episode, but then we had a, like almost at least a month break when they were verifying that the show was okay. Uh, so it has been approved and we are back on course and we're gonna be filming again. And I just have a bowl of oatmeal and I like to add in some cinnamon and I also added in a little bit of coconut oil and then I like to fill it up with peanuts, freshly roasted peanuts and then I also added a banana and I'm also drinking a kind of like a green shake smoothie. I'm not even sure what is all in this smoothie because Ying just made it for me but I, I don't know, there's carrots in here, there's spinach, there's... I don't know if there's celery, there could be some random Thai herbs like basil, and I think there's passion fruit as well. So this is just gonna be a video about today uh, and what we're gonna do and eat, and I don't even know yet, so it will be new for both of us. They're gonna pick us up in a van at 5.30 a.m. I think it's just a little after 5 a.m. right now. just arrived to our first destination uh, this morning. I think it's about a little after 6 a.m. And this is close to Kong San Market, which is right across the Chao Phraya River from uh, Sapan Taksin. And I can actually see the Millennium Hilton in the background up there. And this place is especially famous as a night market in Bangkok. So I've been here a few times at night but never at morning. So first stop is a uh, freshly squeezed fruit juice. And actually the, the video team, they're all setting up their equipment, so we have some time to hang out. Ying is ordering up a juice. Mm -hmm. We got a juice with apple and with something called krachai, which is, uh, which is finger root. It's similar to ginger, it's like wild ginger. Oh, oh, that is awesome. That is like thick apple juice. Just straight up, no sugar added. So this is just straight thick apple juice. And then it's just, it has such a nice bite from that wild ginger. This might be one of the best apple juices I've ever had in my life. We are at a restaurant and I'm gonna make uh, some tang which is green papaya salad, and then eat it. But they are all sitting up in there. And this restaurant is really cool, real, right next to uh, Kong San Market. And there is a bird. Say hello to the... One of his favorite foods is a chili that is awesome. Straight chilies, munching on straight chilies. And this is P. Jiang. And she is the owner of Rongpo restaurant. And she is the chef. And she's gonna teach me how to make some tang. They're immediately just crushing, and the seeds are just coming out, and you can even see the oils coming out of the chilies. Okay, and that's the palm sugar. Okay, fish sauce. Mong kong, eh? Pet, man? Pet. Pet, man, 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 <laughs> this is the Somtam Pupala that I just ate for the for the show, but there's some extra and it is marvelous and it is insanely spicy too. Mm. And so spicy. It has such a beautiful, unique flavor to it. Uh, now we're actually just having a full lunch at this restaurant, uh, and the food is really good. This one is Yang Komu Yang, 
which is um, pork neck, grilled pork neck salad. This looks amazing. Had a great lunch at Rompo restaurant and that was at Klong San. And then we ended up taking a, a small ferry just across the river and then the river boat to Rachawong Pier to, and now we're heading into Chinatown. We're actually walking to one of my one of my favorite restaurants in Bangkok. Well, I have a lot of favorite restaurants, but this one is called Kaokeng Jek Pui, which I made a video about uh, a while back, but they serve rice and curry in Yawarat in Chinatown. And the, the atmosphere of the restaurant and also the food is amazing. So coming back with the TV show, they have actually called the, called the restaurant ahead of time. And we are gonna be watching them do some cook, some of the cooking, which I never had a chance to do before. So I'm actually really excited to do this. And not to mention, we're gonna eat as well, so. Okay, we made it to Khao Kang Jek Pui, and they are all setting up and getting ready, but I'm just kind of walking around. But I'm, that restaurant is amazing, and they're cooking up, so I cannot wait to to eat. I was just back in the kitchen and I took a few videos and a couple photos, but that is absolutely amazing. She's cooking the curries back there. The kitchen is so clean and the fire is so hot that it actually sounds like, uh, it sounds like jet engines. She like cranks that heat so high, they must go through an insane amount of gas cooking the food here. But wow, does it smell insanely good. And now uh, they, they open up at about four, I think about four in the afternoon. But before doing, before opening up, they, they put a, a bunch of the curries in bags already because many people come to this restaurant uh, for takeaway. So you can see there's, there's like an assembly line of curry package bagging. And they put the exact amount of curry into the bags wind them up with rubber bands and then put them in the baskets and that way it's a lot easier to sell quickly when they get a lot of customers wanting takeaway. Uh, soy Sikao 19, Soy 19. And this is a really famous restaurant for curry. Very delicious curry, very delicious food. Okay, so we just finished the shoot at Khao Kang Jek Pui. Staff there are really nice and the food is awesome. The spices are not that strong, but the flavor is is just so smooth and and so so comforting, I think that's what it is. It's like comforting curry. I think it's almost five, about 5 p.m. or so. So the traffic is getting terrible. But we're walking through Yawarat now on Charong Krung Road. One of the most famous uh, Chinese temples in Yawarat is called Wat Mong Kong. And it's a very famous Thai Chinese temple. And I can hear some, something's going on inside. Ying just stopped and bought some snake fruit. So I'm never gonna, no matter how full I am, I'm not gonna resist a piece of snake fruit, that's for sure. Oh, I love this fruit. It tastes like a fermented apple. But it's just so juicy. And yeah, it's like it has like a slight alcoholic flavor to it. Love it. Okay, what is it? All right, so we're walking right now on Yawarat Road, and this is this is the evening traffic, which is intense and always packed out and always exciting as well. Oh, 
Behind the scenes, behind the scenes. Hai <laughs> Tong is the most famous local ice cream. This, ice this cream. is a. Oh. This is a crab. <laughs> Lobster. Lobster. And the restaurant that we're gonna go to is called Fai Kiao, which is means green light, green light. And this restaurant is really famous for the the high fire that they stir fry on. So they're really famous for for stir frying pak 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 bung fai dang, which is uh, uh, morning glory stir fried on a really high heat with chilies, and it just explodes with a fire flame ball in the air. So I think that's what we're going to record, and I don't think we're actually going to record a full scene of eating, but I think we're going to have dinner as well. Oh. Cooking the the morning glory was was almost insane. I think the fire the fire went all the way to the roof. No, even no, 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 no. How how high? What do you have to do? Just the second floor. Floor floor. No, no. It went, it went to the roof of the of the of the first awning for sure. It was like a it was like a gas explosion. That was ridiculous. And he cooked he cooked the the hot boom in like two seconds. Two seconds it was it was cooked already. So cooked on fire. Cooked in a fire. <laughs> Mm. 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 Yeah, I can actually taste the fire in that. <laughs> this one is um, pamuk manau, which is squid in chili and lime juice, and it looks amazing as well. Well, that's piping hot. <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's so good. We just finished with dinner. That food was insanely good, and the the fire show was ridiculous. The gasoline explosion. It was like a Molotov cocktail. That food was awesome, uh, and the show, the fireworks, the fire display show was equally amazing as well. But anyway, that's a great, that's a great restaurant. I, I have never been there, even though I've been in this area of Yawarat so many times. So it's been a pretty long day, but I have to say that it goes extremely fast because we have so many things. We're, we, everything is action packed, so we go from one place to the next. It's, it's been a long day, and I definitely am very tired, but at the same time, I feel, I feel just excited, and I feel kind of energized. Uh, gonna take a shower, and maybe try to vlog for a couple hours, if I have the energy. And, oh, hello, Poo Poo. Poo Poo. And that is the neighbor's dog. We don't have a dog, actually. Uh, where was I? Oh, so yeah, anyways, great day. Um, I'm gonna shower and try to do some vlogging if I have the energy for as long as I last. I hope you enjoyed this video about a day in Bangkok, uh, filming for the Thai food documentary series TV show. So thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click subscribe now for more delicious upcoming food videos. And, and yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.